Fishing is one of the UK's most popular sports and pastimes. Whether you're fishing miles out at sea or at a quiet lake such as the one behind me, you still reap the same benefits, and fishing's versatility has made it a huge hit across the globe. It's even being prescribed by the NHS to treat anxiety and depression. But what is it about fishing specifically that appeals to the everyday working man? I've come down to Arundel in West Sussex to find out just that. This is Nick Killick, a 54-year-old sales manager from West Sussex. Nick is one of the hundreds of thousands of people in the UK who fish in some form. And he's been on the water's edge ever since he was a young boy. So a good friend of mine when I was about 12 went fishing and uh, he asked me if I wanted to join him. So I went along, loved it, and then carried on doing that till I was about 20. Um, and then rugby took over my life up until a few years ago and then uh, looking for something else to do to uh, take up some time so I thought I'd uh, take up fishing again. With the COVID-19 pandemic still needing people to be cautious and to work from home more often, fishing has become the perfect way for Nick and thousands of others to get out of the house and release some stress in the safest way possible. Uh, so the reason why I go fishing is uh, I've got a pretty stressful job um, in sales and I also spend a lot of time sitting at home now that uh, the ways of working have changed. I used to be in the office a lot more but now I'm working from home and so uh, it just gives me an opportunity to get out and about and just to uh, relax and relieve some of the stresses of life. just makes me more relaxed. Although fishing's really relaxing and just getting out into the countryside and enjoying all the, uh, the scenery and the birds and everything, it, it's also really exciting. Um, I think the, the apprehension of, uh, of catching a fish and just watching the float is, uh, is really exciting. So you get a bit of best of the both, both, best of both worlds really. Appearing 35 times for Harlequins alongside the likes of Jason Leonard, Nick's sporting life has undoubtedly been a success and it's seen some drastic changes over the years. Despite rugby being well in the past, the competitive fighting spirit clearly still remains strong, with fishing providing a fitting replacement. So I played professional rugby for seven years up in London and um, again a really exciting sport but heavy toll on the body. Had a lot of injuries, so had to look at uh, another pastime. Took up mountain biking for a little while, but uh, then moved to a less mountainous area. So again, looking for another sport to uh, to do. I've always been quite competitive, and uh, fishing is still quite competitive. It's, it's you versus the fish, um, and I just thought fishing, try that again. I loved it when I was a young kid. So again, trying it again now is, uh, certainly something that I really, really enjoy and it, it helps me mentally and uh, passes the time and enjoy the countryside with myself and the dog. Currently residing in Rustington, a small village nestled on the south coast, Nick's blessed with always being within arm's reach of a body of water. I've always lived by, by the water, whether it be the sea or rivers or lakes, and I just find it very therapeutic, the, uh, the ripple and the sound of the water and the stillness and uh, 
the reflections on the water, just really uh, tranquil and a little bit of serenity. It's a well-known fact that owning or simply interacting with dogs reduces stress in abundance. And whilst dogs are a man's best friend, they also make the ideal fishing partner, the combination of the two providing the ultimate stress-free experience. Yeah, as you can see, I, uh, I bring Missy with me, my, uh, my cockapoo, my five-year-old cockapoo. She, uh, she's an outdoor dog, loves the, uh, the outdoors, and really good, uh, she's my little friend. Bring her with me and um, she really enjoys it as well, all the sniffs and uh, having a good old drink of the water and uh, occasionally falling in and diving in. But, uh, she loves it as well, so it's a, a good two-man job. Fishing's popularity has grown exponentially over the past few years. 2020 saw the Environment Agency sell over 1 million freshwater rod licences in England alone, an incredible 16% rise on the previous year. Nick gave me his thoughts on why he thinks fishing has become even more of a hit amongst Brits. I think um, the, the reason why fishing is so popular is it seems to be dominated by males, um, probably gives them a chance to get out of the house and probably their their wives would be pleased that they're out of the house as well, probably, some of them. But um, I, I was contacting some local fishing clubs recently and um, they were just saying that they've stopped taking membership because they're so full up, especially over the last couple of years. So I think the, during the COVID pandemic, the only thing we could really do is, is get out and about and get in the countryside. We couldn't go shopping or restaurants. So I think people turn to other activities if you're not a walker or maybe you haven't got a dog, you haven't really got any other excuses if you like to get out and about. So fishing's a, a perfect one to, to get out into the countryside and actually get some, uh, get some fresh air. So we had a break in the weather today. Uh, it's been pretty horrible the last few days. Um, haven't been very successful catching yet. We've been here about an hour. Uh, but even so, it's just nice to really get out and relax a little bit and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the sunshine, which is uh, very, um, very, or should I say there's a lack of at the moment. Fishing is a proven way to effectively reduce stress and anxiety, with many fishing-based charities providing much-needed support for those who need it. It's so important for men and women to be provided a platform to speak openly, and those charities provide just that. The guy that I started fishing with was a guy called Mark. Uh, he was actually my best mate, and uh, we used to go every weekend, had great fun. I ended up playing rugby with him as well, but unfortunately he uh, lost his life a couple of years ago. And I think that was another inspiration for me to start fishing again, just in, in memory of me, uh, in memory of him. And um, there's lots of charities around that do, that use fishing as uh, therapy. Uh, there's, there's the Forces one, they do one, and there's, there's a mental health one as well, which, which are all charities to um, just to partner up with, uh, with people who may be struggling and everything. So. It's just a good way of getting out and, and getting that therapy in, a, in an unusual way rather than sitting in front of a counsellor and um, talking it through that way. Speaking of charities, I recently had the privilege and honour to sit down with Bill Howell, the founder of Fishing for Forces. Bill set up the charity 12 years ago to provide fishing days out for servicemen and women coming back from conflict. Here's what Bill had to say about his charity. Well, basically what we do is we organise days out for groups uh, primarily of our wounded, but also it is now open to all who serve and have served, mm -hmm. uh, right to veterans back to World War II. And as I said, we did on a couple of occasions have some lovely Chelsea pensioners out for the day. We, we organise a fishing day, normally at a lake, because... Um, some of our wounded obviously turn up with missing limbs um, and uh, others uh, who have suffered trauma. We, we stay around a lake rather than on a river. It's much safer, number one. Number two, we can keep an eye on everybody. 
That way, everybody, should they need any assistance of any kind, um, we're there. We don't want any medals, we don't want any goals. We just want to get on with it and help them wherever we can. Over the years, Bill has had the pleasure of witnessing the mental benefits of fishing firsthand. And it's not just fishing that helps. Simply being by the water is a superb distraction from life and offers endless support for those in need. You don't necessarily have to get the therapeutic effect of being by the water by going fishing. You can just go and sit by a lake or by a river. And the thing is, it kind of washes the mind. I call it liquid yoga. You're focused on everything that's going around on the lake or the river and what you're doing if you are fishing. And then I do ask a question every time when we're all grouped together at the end of the day and I say, right, put your hand up, those that have been thinking about work. And I never get a hand going up. And that proves my point. Fishing then is not only a source of entertainment or relaxation for the everyday working man and millions of people around the world. It's evidently crucial to improving and maintaining positive mental health, a unique form of therapy people should never overlook.